Hey Aries, this is your weekly reading for January 1st through the 7th. Let's go ahead and jump right in with each other, all right? Spirit and Nature, guys, with the most argument cards for Aries. Summer Rising and Venus sign, January 1st through the 7th. Let's go on here with Aries. Let's take a look and see what you guys are looking like for the next seven days here. Cards for Aries. What is Aries looking like in? Ooh, cards are going everywhere. In this situation, whatever Aries is thinking about. For the next seven days. There you go. Ooh, taking a rest on something. Okay, stepping back. You're probably feeling like you need to rest, okay? With the four of swords here. That's what I'm saying. Take some downtime. Meditate. <laughs> some of you guys are burning sage and incense and cleansing your space, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Taking some time for yourself. Gaining some of your energy back, okay? So that you can focus. That's what you're doing here. What's crossing you? Ooh, you may be taking a break on some love offer or a lover that you're dealing with right now, okay? You may be trying to protect your feelings or protect yourself from, from someone. Maybe falling too deeply in love too quickly. Or you're just taking a break from this person. The best that can be achieved in the circumstance, be happy. Be happy. You have the you have what you need. That's what I feel with the nine of cups here. Like you have everything that you need, all the love that you need. Um, yeah, you should be focused on healthy relationships. Focus on your health and your growth. That's what you should do. That's the best that can be achieved in the circumstance. The reason for the reading is the judgment card. Maybe so. Someone wants forgiveness or a second chance coming up here. Or this is just you changing here, um, Aries, into a more mature individual, knowing exactly what you want. You're growing. That's what I'm seeing with the judgment card. It feels like you're coming out of the old, stepping into something new, a renewal. Okay, that's what I'm coming up with there. In the past here, you took a chance on something. Okay. Fearlessly going forward and ch taking a chance on a situation. We'll see exactly what that is, okay? In the near future, ooh, you may see someone or be dealing, maybe this lover here that you're taking a break on that has this sneaky type of behavior or you don't trust them. In the, in the near future, you have the seven of swords here, okay? Someone's going to betray you. You're going to figure out who that is. We're going to look at it. Okay, you may be wearing too many hats right now, doing too much. And this is why you need this much needed break coming in here. Okay, for yourself, pamper yourself, take care of yourself, get your spirit and your energy in check. Okay, when I said don't worry, be happy, it feels like that. They're saying, look, everything is being worked out for you. I feel like... Even if you do deal with some burden, you're coming to the end of it. You're going to start seeing um, the situation or whatever you're dealing with here. Um, Aries, lighten up with the sun card. Okay. Maybe you gain some clarity in um, how you want to move forward, who you want to deal with, who you don't want to deal with. You're choosing good, healthy relationships and you're stepping back into your own personal power you're not carrying all this shit on your back okay that's what it looks like so your outside environment or what's affecting you externally it's not affecting you but your environment will look good that's what i'm feeling your hopes and your fears <laughs> yeah you want love here aries okay you want the right love though okay so you're hoping that you um can give this cup of love to someone or your some of you guys are hoping that someone talks to you you may be interested in someone okay 
You may also see apologies coming back. You may fear an individual coming back to apologize as well. <sighs> Page of Cups is like, they're coming. Whoever it is. It may be... <clears throat> <laughs> it may be more than one person. It may be just the same person. Um, it may be an immature type of offer that's coming in. I feel like some of my areas have dealt with this for some time now, okay? This person seems like maybe a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Yeah, I got some air here too, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like this person may have come in immature, but now they want to give something serious to you, okay? It seems like you guys kind of want the attention, but you don't. <laughs> You're a little tossed up right now. I'm not sure what's going on right there. But there is an interest um, coming in from someone. Yes, that's what I feel. This person may be quiet. They may not like to show all of their feelings at once. Let's take a look at this, okay? Let's take a look at how things will play out with this lover. Aries. One more time. Ooh, look at that. Got a Gemini on your hands, maybe? <laughs> Got the lover's card and the five of wands there. feel like that was in reverse, though. We'll see. Okay. You may have personality clashes with this person. This may be someone you feel is a twin flame, like you guys may be too alike, or you just don't have to not you don't have enough in common with each other let's take a look how things play out with aries and this lover january 1st through the 7th let's see uh oh <laughs> you got the page of pentacles here look at that you have the sun card I made mean the moon card and the seven of swords here again i think that's the second time we got that all right, you got the moon card here and the page of pentacles. A message, an offer is going to come in, but you're, I don't feel like you're going to move on it. You may not trust this person. You may feel like they're sneaky. They're hiding stuff. They're not being truthful. Okay. That's what I'm feeling here. Maybe a Pisces or, or I'm sorry, uh, Pisces or <clears throat> a Libra here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's take a look at this. Why well, is the Page of Pentacles here? We're going to use some Kipper cards. Okay. Look at that Joker on the back of that. Is that a Joker? Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> page of Pentacles. Why well, is the Page of Pentacles here? mature man giving an offer could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be an earth sign that is here okay yep main <laughs> this person I feel like they dress well okay they may be in in a professional um, they have a professional background, like office professional, stuff like that, okay? Banking, I don't know why that's coming in with the pentacles as well, okay? Accounting, this person here, what is going on with this moon card and this lover? How things play out with Aries and this lover here? Why is the moon card here? Thoughts. <laughs> You're thinking, are you lying? Are you telling the truth? Is this real? We're gonna take a look at this. Give me one more card. You see a challenge or this, you're thinking that this person may be a challenge. Family room, okay. Why is the seven of swords here? We're gonna look at the seven of swords.
wealthy man. This person has some money, whoever this is, okay? Ooh, <laughs> I don't know how they get it though. How do they get it, all right? The seven brings in like theft, a <laughs> wealthy man. I don't know, maybe they are in trades. <laughs> Um, Wall Street, I don't know. uh, real estate. Hmm, these Kipper cards are we're gonna put down one more card here, okay? And main female, and then you got the main male, okay? Is there someone else in the picture? That's the question. Someone else in the picture. Let's take a look here. The Seven of Swords under here with the main female. That is some betrayal. You may be finding this out January 1st through the Seven, maybe later. Okay. What I'm feeling here. This is someone's main person, okay? You have the Queen of Swords here. Um, this person, this may be someone's lover. That's what I'm getting in here. This main person, okay? Let's. <laughs> Why is this a uh, main male here in this page of pentacles? What is this offer coming in towards Aries? Okay. This could go anyway, male, female. Okay. There's your five of wands. I'm gonna take a break on this shit. Look at it. It just came back around. It's too much of an obstacle. You got the four of swords again, and the five of wands are like, you need to cut it. It's done. You're going to take a break on this person. Okay, we got it. Let's go into the other areas and see how things are going to be playing out. And work for you, Aries. How would things play out with Aries in a place of employment or co-worker. I look at both. What's going on with Aries finances? Aries and finances for the next seven days, January 1st through the 7th. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you doing out there? You got the four of swords here, okay? Let's talk about work here, okay? You got the page of pentacles coming in here. Maybe you're turning down some offers here or taking some time to meditate on them, think about them, make sure it's something that you want to move forward with, with the King of Wands here, because you're studying it. You're a business person, okay? And you're trying to make sure that this offer is something that um, is going to work for you, okay? And grow what you want. Look, it will. Go for it. Take your time to think about it. And then go for it. You got the Ten of Cups here, which is good. I feel like there is, you're going to make a, a positive decision or well-thought-out decision in regards to this offer that is coming in. There's some energy that you're going to take some time to think about it, okay? Whatever this is coming in towards you guys. But I feel like it is an offer of money with the Pinnacles here, okay? It's going to increase... Um, Whatever money is coming in towards you, this may be money towards school, books, home, um, a home loan, okay? Something that is helping you um, build security when it comes to your material world, okay? And you're going to be happy about it. Yay! How would things play out with Aries? And a family member. Where is a family member? 
Good. Good. Happy. <laughs> I feel like you're going to have uh, friends around you, family around you. Um, I feel like the eye is going to be on you. You're going to be in the spotlight. That's what the sun makes me feel like because you have been or will be successful. Okay. Or make some very good business decisions or decisions in your life within the next week or so here. Okay. You got three of pentacles, which tells me about those business um, adventures. You're showing your talent here. Okay. Um, make sure you watch out. What's in your bank account with the five of pentacles? Make sure you um, just pay attention to your funds. Don't overspend. Don't spend frivolously, <laughs> if I'm saying that right, okay? Just, um, yeah, make sure that you keep account of the money that's going out and coming in. That's what I feel here, even with family members. There's some message behind money here, okay? You may be supporting others while you're trying to grow yourself, um, educate yourself, okay? Um, I don't know why I said education, but that's coming in here too, okay? Going deep here. But I feel like you're giving out resources. Just make sure you're not giving out too much, more than you can handle. All right. Friends, we're dealing with the friend here. Things play out with the friend. And Aries. You. <laughs> Successful friendships. Bonds. Um, you may get a message that someone wants to work with you. Okay. You may have this. I feel like some challenge is going to turn into an opportunity. That's what it feels like. Okay. We're moving from the five of wands to the six of wands. I feel like you have beaten your competition, <laughs> overcome them. Okay. And all this, the pettiness that comes with it. Okay, so, yeah, friends, I feel like they're going to gather around you and support you and uh, celebrate with you with the Six of Wands. They're kind of by your side to help you celebrate your accomplishments and your victory, okay, over your enemies. This is kind of covering your enemies, like what's going to happen with them as well, because that was the next question. So, yeah, that's it. That's you. Aries, that is your reading for January 1st through the 7th. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your weekly reading. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. Hit that like button, okay? Get the algorithm going for YouTube here. We're going to try to get this video shared as much as we can. Make sure you come back for the next weekly reading. I'll be putting out some monthly readings as well. Take care of yourself, Aries.